I'm here with my mom. Wearing your favorite overalls. I was looking all over for my red long sleeve shirt that I like to wear all that and I couldn't find it. I know, you always wear the red. Well, that's because I wear my cute little cats with a red trim that I look really cute. You know what I should clarify? My mom does live in my old apartment. <laughs> what was that? Was it worked that out really well. It? No, this dance. What is this dance, guys? My mom's trying to figure out no, how... that's not how they did it either. My mom just... <laughs> I can't remember what I was doing. There's a dance that she just came into her head. She's trying to figure out what it is. Like, is it a real dance? Does somebody do it? Is it pervy? Is it creepy? I think it's a real dance. I just is don't know if you really... sexy? I don't know if it's sexy. <laughs> um, so I'm visiting my mom today, and we're going to go get some lunch now, and then... Uh, take a walk, and I'm also getting a color match for hair extensions today. Lordy Lord! Your girl has no self-control. Uh -huh. Needed a change. I gotta pee before we go. Okay. So, I'm gonna go up. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of actually really fun having my mom live in my old apartment. Um, it worked out really well, so. Yeah, anyway. My mom's lease ended as mine did, so it worked out perfectly. She loved this apartment, so. She's, like, super happy here, so that's cool. Uh, gotta pee. <laughs> Also, this might be the cutest outfit I've ever worn. I'll link it all down below. The top is Boohoo, Gucci belts, Lane Bryant jeans. Linked below. Yes, we are out to lunch. If you need a good place in Boston to eat, Stephanie's is really cute. It's on Newbury Street. Say hi. Hi. You're so cute. Guess who we just ran into on the street? Oh my god, story time. <gasps> we literally just ran into a guy. Okay, so on the, on the, okay. I haven't gone out with anyone in a really long time. Frankly, I just don't even have the desire. I haven't met anyone I care about. But I ran into this guy that works in my building and he asked me for my business card and we were chatting it up and then he asked me to coffee. Now we went to coffee last Friday. So tomorrow will be one full week. Now you know how dating is. One full week is a really long time. So Alexandra and I are just walking down New Street right now and some guy yells out, oh, I, let me guess, you're going out to lunch with your daughter. And we turn and look. <laughs> and I was like, who is and that? And Alice, you're just like, does she know him? And I'm like, Al, this is Ben. Yes. Isn't that crazy? We just went But I haven't talked, like, for real. It's been almost a week since we had coffee. Like, But it seemed like he was, like, into her, though. Like, why would he even come up to us if he didn't like her? Right? Maybe he just likes to talk. No. So now she's making me text him. Definitely. She but has to. Yet. In an hour. In, like, an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Story time of the day. Anyway, eating at, eating at um, Stephanie's. Very exciting. I'm excited, though. makes me too nervous. Running into him made me feel like God exists. The universe is real. Well, you know what? We're late for lunch, too, because exactly. we were back in my apartment, like, fiddling and diddling on the computer It all happened real for a reason. And then, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We'll update you soon. All right, guys. So, I Hi just guys. went ahead and got my hair color matched. For an extension. I'm um, really excited. I cannot wait. So we were walking home and I got like a major stomach ache really quick and we had to take a detour. <laughs> I had to go we to the bathroom. Have a nice walk. Yeah. The oldest garden in the United States, the Boston Public Garden. Yeah. Didn't but work out. Al had a little problem with her belly. Had major stomach issues, TMI. And um, we were like a little bit late, but we're gonna go get a pastry now. I know, everything looks really fall and cozy. Hello guys, good morning. Let me hold you properly so we don't have any weird sounds. I just sat down to breathe. It's been a morning and a half. I will give you guys a mini story time. Also, I didn't finish the vlog yesterday, I'm sorry. Um, I did have an urge to film with my mom though, and we just felt like vlogging, so. That was fun. Isn't that crazy that we ran into the guy she went on a date with? Like, that was just super wild. Um, I'm just catching my breath. It's been such a crazy morning. I mean, it hasn't been that crazy, but it was, like, a little stressful. Um, so I had this project that I had to film today because it's due at noon. So I, like, set my alarm to get up early and, like, get it done because it's, like, two makeup tutorials in one. So I knew it was going to be pretty time-consuming. Two Halloween looks, too. Uh, so I knew it was gonna take to film and edit and upload. I knew it was gonna take like three or maybe four hours So I got up early to do that. I woke up There was no power <laughs> and you guys know um, You need like lighting and actually my camera battery I was gonna charge that for like 30 minutes. I only had half a battery pack. I need to buy a backup battery I know this is first world problems. I'm just like telling you my morning um, but <laughs> I woke up and there was no power 
and like the emergency lights were on in the hallway so I'm like okay it's the whole building not just my building so it came on uh, almost two hours later so I was like okay I'm gonna have to like let them know the video is gonna be late um, and all that jazz Cause I did actually try to start filming it in the natural light and it just looked really bad like makeup videos in the natural light if it's not like perfect like perfect like half shady natural light it looks just kind of like crazy um but anyway i actually just got it done and it's uploading on my laptop now miracles i don't know how how i got that done i don't know but um it was just a lot I'm, i feel like tired i feel like i've been up for four days but anyway i actually have a really fun rest of the day planned my grandparents are coming over soon so um I, it's so funny when i moved i tore my um a piece of my couch and my grandma like is dying to sew it because she's just so damn sweet uh so she's gonna come over with my grandpa and they haven't seen the apartment furnished yet so they just want to like see it remember they helped me paint this wall i have like the sweetest family ever um so there's my pretty little pumpkin over there i don't know if that tutorial that, that video should probably be up before this vlog is i don't even know um where i did the pumpkin floral arrangement so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna get ready now. I'm just gonna throw on like a little bit of like everyday makeup. Um, and I'm hanging out with Lily tonight because she's coming um, over. So we're gonna hang out and have some girl girl chats and order some food. It's gonna be fun. So the rest of this vlog is gonna be me just getting ready for today. So I know some of you guys don't like when there's get ready with me's in the vlog. So I put it at the end. So if you didn't wanna watch, you don't have to. But let's get ready. All right, not our best angle, but you know what? I am filming on my phone just to make life easier. So let's do a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling good. I'm just in a really good place, finally. <laughs> finally, it's been a long summer. Um, everything's just been really, really good. Uh, it's taken, you know, a while just to like, you know, get your life in order. I feel like 2017, it is literally cuckoo bananas for everyone. Like, you know, there's good parts, of course, but like, I feel like more than anything, everyone's just been through some form of like emotional turmoil or like a life change. Okay, I just used my Dr. Brandt pores no more. And I am slightly self tanned. I didn't leave it on as long as I should have, but it definitely gave me, um, a bit of a tan so I just cleaned my Fenty Beauty foundation brush and this Fenty actually matches really much better now it was a little dark before I had to kind of mix it my ear has been so itchy I don't know why is that some sort of superstition I don't know you know I'm probably not even gonna edit this portion I'm just gonna like keep it real with y'all like it's an Instagram live so <laughs> as I sit here in silence oh my skin is finally clearing up a bit um, you guys know I'm going through some weird transitional time. I used way too much foundation with my skin because my dermatologist kind of switched things up on me. And But it's it's calming down, so thank God. Thank God. But yeah, I used too much. What was I thinking? I, I just went a little crazy. It happens. I don't know how on earth I finished that video in time. I have no clue it's such a beautiful day out but like at the same time I'm like ew I don't want it to be a beautiful day I want it to be cold it's like 75 70 75 aka not October weather honey for New Englanders anyway I really just want it to be cold <laughs> and I know we'll all be complaining in the winter when it is actually cold but isn't that like a thing? Don't we all want the opposite of what it is, especially us with seasons? Like whenever it's winter, we want summer. When it's summer, we want winter. I just always want fall. <laughs> and it's fall, and it ain't fall outside, which is upsetting. It's a bummer. So, life updates. Do I have any? Not really. I'll tell the vlog fam. I kind of am contemplating making a Christmas song. <laughs> I kind of want to do like an original Christmas song. I think that'd be really fun. Um, just like a single. You know, now that I did, I've come to the conclusion that just because the first album didn't go 100% the way I wanted it to. 
transparent noise but I also remember I'm preheating my oven so that's probably why I, I'm not, you guys can judge me if you want but I actually bought um, cauliflower tater tots and I'm gonna make some right now uh, to go with a little sandwich um, they're really good anyway just because the first album didn't go you know as well like I see I understand the con neighbor across the hall is a little crazy he's quiet but he's crazy I think um I hear him yelling like all the time and he lives alone and he's old but he makes a lot of noise I don't know he's really sweet when I talk to him but he definitely is a little odd I hope he's okay <laughs> I chat with him sometimes He's a really, I hear him. He like talks to himself a lot and like yells to himself a lot. Mostly just like mumbling. He's really sweet though. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, the music. Uh, I understand the constructive criticism and I understand, I, I see now why people didn't think it was as professional as it could have been. And I, I feel kind of bad about that. I feel guilty about that. And I'd really like to try again and um, you know, make sure the music video is like as professional as it can be. I was gonna hire a videographer for the music video and they actually bailed. <laughs> um, so Alan and I were like, let's just, you know, do it ourselves. And I, I should have just waited. I wanted to release it the day the music video came out and that was me being impatient. I should have just waited and put out the music video when it was professional. So I get it now, you know, I get it. I hear a noise. Paranoid, I'm paranoid. Living alone has made me extremely paranoid. Um, so, anyway, I would really like to make a Christmas single or a holiday single, whatever you want to call it. I just think that would be really, really fun. It's my favorite time of year. So, I do like a professional music video. I mean, if I do another music video for the album I just did, I would definitely make sure it's, you know, legit. I don't know. I did, like, put my heart and soul into the album, so I don't regret the album. But I do kind of regret not making sure the music video was as professional as it could have been. But always next time lesson learned life is about making mistakes and trying new things being brave you know I've always wanted to have an album on iTunes and you know write my own music so it was pretty cool to do definitely don't regret it but definitely want to try again you know what life knocks you down you can't stay down you gotta keep moving is that a Christina Aguilera song I got to keep on moving. I don't even know. I gotta go put in my cauliflower tots. <laughs> Cause I am a four year old. <laughs> and that's what four year olds do for vegetables, right? I'm trash. <laughs> so let's just blend this out. It's actually, I wasn't even really concentrating on my brows and they actually came out pretty darn good. Maybe I just need to like concentrate less <laughs> to have a better brow day. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> okay. I have a little leftover concealer. So let's just highlight the nose, shall we? I tell myself it's gonna be like an easy makeup day. <laughs> Will it? <laughs> Does anyone else ever start their day like that where they're like, oh, I'm not gonna do much makeup at all today. <laughs> Two hours later, <laughs> let me go put my tops in. Okay, so I'm like blessing and a curse in this new apartment. <laughs> Um, the fire alarm goes off all the time when I put anything in the oven. Um, pretty much any time I cook anything. It's very sensitive to heat. It's, it's not even necessarily smoky. I think it's, it's like sensitive to heat. It just went off. It won't surprise me if it goes off again during this video. Um, it goes off every time I bake anything. 
like two seconds after I put the tots in it was <laughs> it was going off and I have to fan it make it go off my neighbors probably think I'm a pyromaniac <laughs> so you know cool beans anyway face is set I always feel like a human once the powder is locked in all right which here oh my god I tried this out no shade to NYX y'all know I love you but this is not good <laughs> Um, this is the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt in the shade Fair. It's the lightest one they have. I just, I really don't like it. The highlighter doesn't show at all. Like, it's got, when you put it on a brush, like, just watch. It doesn't do anything. Um, and the bronzer is very muddy and patchy. I don't recommend this. It's probably the one thing from NYX I've ever tried where I don't like it um makes me really sad because I love NYX but if you need a sculpt kit from the drugstore I would probably not do that one um I think I tried one from Wet n Wild kind of a while ago and I really liked it all right all right let's blend in our primer I'm just gonna do like a really light eye look so is anyone you watch doing Vlogween or um, Vlogtober. I only have been watching really Everyday Bunny. Um, she's been doing Vlogween. I'm gonna use my peach palette like I do every day. Uh, I go through phases with Graveyard Girl with Bunny and her channel where I like have to watch it every day and then I go through like a few months where I kind of just like forget to watch her channel and then I fall back in love with her again. Does anyone else do that with like YouTubers they watch? Like, there's people that, like, are, like, you have to watch, and then you kind of forget about them for a while, but then you, like, fall back in love with them. I've been consistently obsessed with Alex and Michael's channel for probably, like, almost a year. Like, their vlog channel is everything to me. I don't know why. I just love their cute little life. Um, who else? Shane. Shane Dawson. I don't think I've missed any of his videos in probably, like, a year or two. I go through phases with Trisha. Um, I go through phases with Graveyard Girl. And who else? Who else do I watch regularly? I've been watching Chris Clemens a lot. He's like really, really funny. I love his content. Uh, he like interviews a lot of people. I think that's how I found his channel. Maybe it was through, I don't know, Christine and Elijah, maybe. I watch them sometimes. I watch Jenna Marbles and I watch Julian's vlog channel. And I don't, you know what's funny? I don't watch a lot of, I'm using Hula, by the way. I need a new, oh, I have a Sephora haul I need to film. I went to order the Huda Beauty foundation. And of course, ended up ordering many things, especially now the holiday sets are out. So I'm gonna film that soon. I'm also gonna do that video soon, reviewing the Huda Beauty foundation that's like so exciting that she came out with foundation it's gonna be amazing I can already tell but I'll keep it real I'll keep it real with you guys um Chris Clemens he's really funny if you want to watch someone like funny uh who else who else do I watch I've been loving the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks pal um powder blush this is in the shade Pinch My Peach it's actually a cream to powder blush it's just super, super pretty. Um, I actually pack it on with a brush. I should be using a stipple brush. I think it would apply better. But I just kind of press it in on the outer part of my cheek. It just gives me a little blushy look. This is literally my everyday makeup routine. I'll probably put that in the title because this is what I do every day. I've been going kind of heavy on the blush lately because I just really like <laughs> being rosy. It's just been like a nice change. And of course, I'm still using the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. I mix the two. Oh, because it's so good. You just glow. Like what? How do you even come back from that? Like nothing can top this now. Like I try to wear other highlighters from the past just don't feel the same way as I do about this one you know your highlights popping when you can see it from the front 
not just the side. Okay. Um, mascara. I'm going to spray my face first so I don't get mascara everywhere. Just a little of the NYX matte finish. What else? What else? What else? What else? I've been using my planner, but I'm getting back into using a planner because I go through phases with them. Um, sometimes I'll like write stuff only in my phone, but I have been back in the groove of using an actual planner. This one's from Target. It just helps me to like, you know, see the week in advance and just be prepared. So happy Friday to you all. I'm filming this on a Friday. I have a Halloween party next weekend. So fun, I'm being youthful, be proud of me. One of my best friends started because she bought a house, so now she has a house to have parties in. How majestic. I'm gonna debut my curvy Barbie look. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, what else? I know I always ask you, but I love to know what you guys are being for Halloween if you're dressing up. Also, if you're not dressing up, when did you stop dressing up? I'm curious. I need a new one of these mascaras. I love this mascara. It's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's literally the same as Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's the same. It's the same. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I talked about the new Urban Decay mascara, that sex proof one. It's called Troublemaker. Uh, it's got the most beautiful packaging. That's what it looks like here. It's holographic, but it also has like a plastic outer coating along it. Um, I hate it. It's just not for me. Let me try doing it as a second coat layer. Like the brush. I don't like like long bristles like that. Like that spidery look. It doesn't work for my lashes. Ugh, I don't even I don't even like it on top of this. I don't know. I just can't get it to do anything with my lashes. Like watch, I'll do it with this eye. I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me. It gives a lot of separation, but it doesn't give any volume. Like, I don't know. I don't know, I just really don't like it. Even if you are sex proof. I'm not usually wearing makeup then anyway. Like, I don't, that was too much information, I apologize. I don't know. I need volume, like I love volume. I would take volume over length. Like I want both. But I'm definitely more of a volume girl. Make them thick. Make my lashes thick. The breeze outside. I have my window open. It's kind of amazing. Oh, it is nice to open the windows. I would open the windows if it was cold. You know what I keep forgetting to do? I haven't been highlighting my inner corner lately. I like completely don't know why keep forgetting to which is weird you guys know I like love 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 to highlight my inner corner it opens up the face so much can't forget Alex you've changed <laughs> okay lips 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 I went to the dentist yesterday. No cavities for mama. Uh, it went well. Where's my favorite? Here we go. Here's my favorite. The Meet Matt Hughes, the Balm Committed Liquid Lipstick. It's been a fave if you've been around for a while. So I want a little MAC Prep and Prime. Uh, because I am using Smile Direct Club, the invisible aligners. I didn't tell them I was using them. Just I didn't think to tell them because, like, I don't know, it wasn't on my mind. <laughs> and she starts, like, you know how they, like, scrape your teeth? Which is the worst, the worst sound and feeling. Um, <laughs> she started doing it. And she's like, did you just, like, get your braces taken off? And I'm like, no, I had braces when I was, like, a kid. And she was like, oh, um, and she's like, she was like super stressed. And then she was like, are you using like Invisalign or something? And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, I'm using Smile Direct Club, like the invisible trays. And she was like, oh, thank God. Because 
because when I started working on your teeth, they were like moving, they're really loose. And I'm like, oh, and she's like, that's super normal. Like, I guess when you're using invisible trays, um, <laughs> your teeth, you know, are really sensitive and mobile because they're moving so much. So like the root is not as strong. Um, I was like, oh my God. She's like, I thought your teeth were gonna fall out. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> but it was fine. <laughs> I forgot lip line or whatever. <laughs> she's cute that noise is kind of weird when my mouth opens it's like okay okay this stuff is so good. It's like light and smells like mint. So this is literally my everyday makeup that I wear every single day. Um, but I'm not filming. I'll usually put on like some light lashes or something though. But you know what? Today I'm not filming anything else. Actually, I might. <laughs> I might film um, that haul since the clothing came in. But if I do, I'll probably throw some lashes on. I don't like filming without lashes. I don't know. I can wear mascara like out in the world. But like when I'm filming, I feel like I need lashes. Which is, I know, kind of dumb, but maybe I'll curl my hair a bit too. I can't wait to give my my tape and extensions. Just, you know, I don't know how long I'll wear them, but I'm really excited because I really just am craving some length, craving some long braids. I don't know, just something different. But I do love my short hair, but, you know, change is fun, change is nice. So anyway, I just want to say thank you guys so much. If you made it to the end of the if you made it to the end of this vlog, um, you're amazing. You're a champion, um, and you clearly are a member of the Fearless Tribe. <laughs> uh, merch is coming soon. Uh, I've been working on that for kind of a while. Those birds are insane. Birds were crazy in my old apartment too. Um, <laughs> merch is coming soon, so that'll be fun. I'll let you guys know when that comes out. And I'm just really excited. I haven't had merch like literally in years like I think I had merch when I had maybe like 10,000 subscribers or something so um this is fun this is exciting it's new and I don't know I just love you guys so much I'm in a really good place and I'm just I don't know coming out of my weird funk my weird album funk I don't know <laughs> life is good and I hope you guys are doing okay and if you're in a funk just know um it is hopefully and usually temporary and uh, you can come out of it and things will get better they always do that's something I always try to tell myself when I'm in like a weird funk or I have anxiety or I feel depressed. I'm just like, look, I tell myself, I'm like, this is temporary. It's good to have like a mantra you repeat over and over. I'm like, this is temporary. This pain will not last forever. Like it will go away. Uh, and you know, eventually it does and things do get better. But uh, I'm here for you and I love you so much and you're beautiful. So um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.